Hey guys, I wanted to make this video for you. What we have here is a split bus. A split bus main panel. One of the reasons why it's called a split bus. One thing you're gonna notice is that all the high amperage breakers for the main systems, all the ones that work uh, 240 volts, like for instance, the water heater, the air handler, the air conditioning condenser, the stove, and the dryer. They are all up here. And then what you have down here is the circuits for the lighting, general lighting inside the house, all the outlets, the lamps, and everything else. This is all high amperage up here from this half this way, general lighting this way. Here's another clue. You are always going to have one breaker like this one that feeds the bottom. How can you tell? You see the wire back here? Boom, it feeds the bottom half. This breaker feeds general lighting for the house. Another clue, usually GE has these. You look at the schematic. The schematic, as you could tell, this is the upper half feeding the lower half of the panel. That's what also makes it a split bus panel. Another thing with the split bus panel, you are not going to be able to tell by the main breakers what the amperage is. You don't just add these and come up with a 150 or 200 amp. You do not do that. One way to tell uh, what it is, is you have to identify what the main wire is coming in. It's about your best bet. If you can figure out what gauge wire that is, then you could uh, pretty much uh, guesstimate and, uh, on what your uh, amperage your service uh, amperage is. If you look at the box, the box does not tell you what it is. Well, actually this one does. Right there, 150 amp rating. So we could use that for our service rating. If you have that, use that. Otherwise, try and figure out what the uh, main wire is. Anyway, I hope this helps. Look at it here. Main, sec main, main section up here from this point this way. Split bus panel. All right, guys. Hope this helps.